So my name is Christopher Allen Boyce, an emergency management coordinator at Boyce County Fish. And my name is Melissa Mungia, and I'm the deputy emergency management coordinator. Um, being on the Texas call, Gulf Coast, we are constantly monitoring and preparing ourselves, our county facilities, our county staff, and our population that we serve for being ready. And be um, but Hurricane Harvey was a very, very unique hurricane. We had very little time to respond, um, especially if we're using our, our normal timeline plan that we have. Um, we traditionally are planning a uh, hurricane preparedness response matrix of about five days, 120 hours, is what we're planning on. So, we're, so we were ready for what we thought was going to happen to basically get tropical storm, maybe a, a category one wind speed storm. And um, all of us were ready for that piece of it. And the RV did change from a tropical depression to a category four at landfall in a matter of 40 hours. And that is something that is within emergency management, basically the worst case scenario. And so what we normally accomplish in two to three days is an evacuation. We did in 12 hours. And uh, National Weather Service, NOAA, National Weather Service Center all have some great tools for emergency managers to utilize uh, for situational awareness. And they have, it was just rolled out last year, it was a surge mop, and, but it is only produced about a day before the actual storm makes landfall. Na National Weather Service chat is really just a chat room where real-time information is provided by the forecasters and meteorologists that are working. And it's a two-way street where you can also see the, the people can feed into it saying, this is what I'm seeing here. And it was very helpful to actually get updates as well. We um, have access to some other products that look at uh, the regional and national radars um, and also the aerial um, satellite images, kind of looking at where the, the center of the storm was and direction and speed. So, and in our own product, we use locally called Reverse Alert, which is uh, an opt-in system that we can put emergency messaging out to our, our county and city of Corpus Christi as well. We had the Coast Guard that was out doing aerial damage assessments. Um, we have an agreement to utilize uh, drones to fly over a particular area that may have been hit by a disaster. And that's kind of the fastest way for us to see the big picture of damage. I work in assisted living facilities and certified nurse assistant, which is kind of where I began my my first aid response role. I didn't really get into emergency management until I took a rescue diving course at Lincoln and Galveston. And that's kind of when I decided that I really wanted to do something that's in the response field of some sort. So I utilized um, volunteering and opportunities that were in my community. So I worked at homeless shelters, um, I worked with the American Red Cross. I volunteered in a lot of different capacities, and there's something that can be learned from each of those. So once you get into it, you realize that we do a little bit of everything. <laughs> so any experience that you have is going to help you in the field of emergency management. It's a, a, a diverse field. So my advice to you is to volunteer and to explore outside of the box from what you think emergency management is. I served a year with AmeriCorps uh, in the same uh, city that I went to my undergraduate uh, time as, and I uh, actually had started a week before the September 11th, 2001 events. And so that whole uh, year of service and what was happening in the world in, in 2001 and in 2002 really kind of changed what I wanted to do with my life. So I didn't really know what I wanted to do. In high school, I tried different things. I wasn't afraid to go in different directions. In high school, I tried different things in college, different classes, different organizations, different um, jobs, just to figure out what made sense. I, in my own experience, I found I knew what I wanted to do, which was help others. I just trying to figure out a way to pay the bills, and I found emergency management because of that. But it's not where I, I didn't know that at the beginning of. I didn't even know what emergency management was in high school. And so don't be afraid, try new things, follow what you think is the right thing to do for you, and you'll figure out a way to make it work. Emergency management really 
brings together all the different elements of, of public safety, service to others, technology, learning constantly, and, and it's just a, it's a great career, and uh, you can make a pretty good team here, and I'll see you too.